then grown up to them when I read the little thief in the pantry. Mother dear, said a little mouse one day, I think the people in the house must be very kind. Thank you. They did such nice things for us in the pantry. There was a twinkle in the mother's eye as she replied, Well, my child, no doubt they are very well in the way, but I don't think they are quite as fond of us as you seem to think. Now remember, Grey Whiskers, I have absolutely forbidden you to put your nose above the ground unless I am with you. For kind as the people are, I wouldn't be at all surprised if they tried to catch you. Grey Whiskers twitched his tail with scorn. He was quite sure he knew how to take care of himself. He didn't want to walk after his mother's tail all his life. So as soon as she had cleared her step for an afternoon nap, he crept away and scrambled across the pantry shelf. Ah, there was something particularly good today. A large ice cake stood far back on the shelf, and Grey Whiskers lifted his lips as he sniffed it. Across the top of the cake, there were words written in the pink sugar, but as Grey Whiskers could not read, he did not know he was nibbling at Little Easter's birthday cake. But he did feel a little guilty when he heard his mother calling. Off he ran and was back in the nest again by the time his mother had finished rubbing her eyes after her nap. She took Grey Whiskers up to the pantry then, and when she saw the hole in the cake, she seemed a little annoyed. Some mouse had evidently been here before us, she said, but of course she never guessed that it was on her own little son. The next day, the naughty little mouse again popped up to the pantry when his mother was asleep, but at first he could find nothing at all to eat, though there was the most little smell of toasted cheese. But then he found a little wooden house, and there hung the cheese, just inside it. Grey was just running, but oh, click, went the little wooden house, and the little mouse was caught fast in a trap. When the morning came, the cook who had set the trap lifted from the shelf and then called a little girl to come and see to see who had eaten her cake. What are you going to do with him? asked Isu. Drown him? Tears came into the little girl's pretty blue eyes. You didn't know I was stealing, did you, mousy dear? She said, no, squeaked Grey Whiskers sadly. Indeed, I didn't. Cook's back was turned for a moment, and in that moment, tender-hearted little Isu lifted the lid of the trap and popped the little mouse. Oh, how quickly it ran to his mother, and how she comforted and petted him until he began to forget his fright. And then she made him promise never to disobey her again, and you may be sure he never did. The end. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any new episodes. Bye-bye!